Hey Taurus, welcome to the Spirit Font. Uh, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently today and having a look at who's coming towards you. Is it an X or should you move on to the next? Um, please remember that these are general, they won't resonate with you all. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. For the month of February, I'm offering lovers readings on special. If you're interested, the information is below in the description. All right, Taurus, let's see who's coming towards you. Just give me a second, guys. I've been doing readings all day. I just need a sip of water. <laughs> I can feel that my voice is getting a little strained. All right, Taurus, right off the bat here, yeah? I can tell you straight up an ex is coming towards you. In all the other readings, I haven't been 100% sure. They could have gone either way, but I can see straight up in this one, this is someone who has a lot of regrets. This is someone that you've walked away from, and this is someone who wants to apologize. So with those three energies, obviously someone new coming towards you has no regrets about you and has no reason to apologize. So that's why I'm thinking this is an ex, all right? Think about someone who's caused a lot of damage. Think about someone who, ah, that you had to walk away from. This is possibly that person. This person is in a lot of regret about what it is that they've done, how it is this relationship has ended. They've possibly even been stuck in their head. This energy gives me a little bit of a pity party, a little bit of a wow was me energy. Um, your person has been isolating themselves possibly even blaming you at the beginning, but they've moved away from that energy. Now they're in this energy of kind of analyzing everything that's gone on and just being filled with regret, almost seeing the opportunity that they've missed. Um, and that is with these three cups that they are staring at. With these two cups that are behind them, it makes me feel like it's the energy they know they left behind, the love they left behind. What they're staring at, what they're ruminating over is the damage that they've caused. So this person, your person is in deep regret. Don't think that they skipped off into the sun happily without you. I feel like this person's actually quite stuck on you. Not even just stuck on you, they're stuck on the pain that they've caused. They're stuck in the regret and the guilt that they have towards what it is that they've done towards you. I feel like um, this person doesn't like the ending. This person's definitely thinking about moving towards you. But right now, there is a little bit of a stuck energy with the Six of Swords in reverse. I think your person is a little stuck in their head right now, stuck in their heart, stuck in that guilt. They are wanting to come forward. It is an intention of theirs. It is something that they will do. But right now, they just have to figure some things out for themselves before they can get on this boat and move towards you. Once they do get on the boat, though, you've got the Two of Cups coming towards you. This is the card of apologies. This is the card of small offers, explanations, opening up the line of communication. So maybe you guys haven't been communicating in quite some time. In fact, I feel that way with this back turned to the card. Um, I feel like you've turned your back on this person. There's possibly even been some ghosting or just, yeah, if you are communicating, it's been very unstable, uh, very casual, very blunt. Um, this person does want to come towards you. They do want to apologize. There's some sort of... Um, I don't want to say commitment, but I guess that's exactly what the Hierophant is. Your person has some sort of stable communication that they want to bring towards you about bringing a little bit more stability into the situation, a little bit more longevity. Your person might be wanting to communicate that they don't want you to walk away. And if that means that they need to commit to you, that's something that they are willing to do. Another energy I just picked up from that higher fund could be that you possibly were committed to this person for quite some time and that's why there's so much regret. Possibly even this person stepped out on your marriage or you guys are married but something happened where you guys are not seeing eye to eye right now. Um, it's probably your person's fault <laughs> and your person is wondering, trying to figure out how they're going to communicate with you. Um, they are trapped in their head right now. It might be overthinking this apology, but once they figure it out, once they get a little bit more stable within their emotions, 
I do feel like this person is going to come towards you, okay? Ooh, Taurus, very heavy. I'm not Taurus. Is this Taurus? It is Taurus. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Like I said, I've been doing readings the whole day. Heavy energies here. Very, very heavy energies. Your person is in their head. They're in their heart. They're in their feelings. And they're feeling very alone. Um, your person definitely feels alone. Ooh, yeah. You're dealing with an ex here. For sure. Oh, wow. This really could be your... Wow, look at this. All right, so guys, this is definitely a reading for the ex. Um, if you're not looking for the ex, I'm sorry. That seems to be who's coming towards you, or that's at least who this reading is for. Possibly, like I said, someone that you were committed to for quite some time. Um, the mother of your children, the mother, um, the father of your children, wife, husband with this emperor and the hierophant. Um, wow. Maybe this is someone that you were engaged to. Something happened. That's why I'm feeling such heavy, heavy regret. There was a very strong connection or a very deep commitment that was either broken damaged or damaged or bent guys i'm so sorry i feel like my brain's getting scrambled please just bear with me until we get to the end of this reading um like i said there's a very strong connection here and it's from someone from your past two cards of reconciliation have come out Wow, and it's the Six of Cups, which is the card of someone from the past, possibly even a soulmate, past life connections. This person wants to come forward. They want to celebrate with you again. I feel like they just want to release these energies for themselves and for the betterment of this relationship because they are seeing you as the person they want to spend their life with. They just see you as a very stable, nurturing and loving counterpart, which is something that they want. As I mentioned before, they see the strength in this connection. They also might need some strength to come towards you to bring this offer this cup this apology this explanation wow you are a wish fulfillment for this person um yeah they you might feel a little out of reach right now uh which is what, what i was picking up on right now this person is stuck in their head there seems to be some stagnancy a little bit of a block and lack of movement but that's not going to be for long i feel like that's only because this person needs to figure themselves out almost forgive themselves before they can expect you to forgive them but they will come forward very quickly to reconcile and to offer you some sort of explanation all right if it's not an explanation it's asking you out on a date asking you for coffee opening up the lines of communication apologizing beautiful stuff guys you're manifesting some beautiful energies with that star i do feel like um the energy that I'm picking up for this empress is you, where you've chosen to walk away with this from this person and put, put yourself in high regard. And it's that energy that's actually manifesting them in a higher vibration where they are seeing you as the empress and they don't want to lose you. Empress, male or female, doesn't matter. You could be a very nurturing, loving man, okay? Oh, wow, look at the sun. There are two cards here that indicate that you could be dealing with the Leo, all right? Possibly you're dealing with the Leo. It doesn't have to be, but you make this person very happy. Um, you bring a lot of joy to this person. If that's not the case, they have a very vibrant, um, exuberant, is that a word? Exuberant. <laughs> they have a very vibrant, um, engaging, charming, bright personality. The kind of person that lights up a room when they walk in, or this is how they see you. Uh, oh, look at this. Oh, this is so beautiful. Lovers. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It tried to come out in reverse. It came out like this, which just indicates to me that there is a beautiful, strong connection here. But right now, you guys just aren't seeing eye to eye. There possibly is no communication. Uh, bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. And then we have the Seven of Cups as well, but in reverse. Same energies here, guys. Um, your person is stuck. 
there's possibly no communication and it's only because they're just trying to figure out how they're going to fix things how am i going to get my lover back how am i going to get this new opportunity with them this person's ready to invest in you if that was the problem before if they were breadcrumbing you and not in, not actually giving you the commitment that you so deserve it's coming okay if you were committed to this person before and they messed up they're coming back to apologize if you were married to this person and they messed up same thing they're coming back to apologize beautiful stuff i hope that's what you want to hear <laughs> you might actually just want to move away from this person completely but they're not done with you all right taurus let's close off your reading using the what do you call these the Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay? They have like some cool, quirky per, uh, personality traits and just like words that might describe this person a little bit better or just what it is that they need to focus on or what it is that they're thinking. <gasps> wow. Didn't I say this? Oh my gosh. This is so sad. I feel so bad for this person wow this person really messed up they know that they messed up which is something good at least hence all of these heavy energies i was picking up on before they're coming forward to ask you for forgiveness wow this reading is so beautiful it's making so much sense like all the cards are making sense i don't know how else to say it they want to come forward reconcile with you and bring back the harmony in this situation they want your forgiveness. They want to say sorry. Possibly this person thinks about you when they're listening to music. Maybe that's how your connection started or that was a beautiful part of the connection, like sharing music, having the same taste in music. Um, maybe they're a musician. Maybe they're a writer. Maybe that's what you are. But music seems to be on your person's head a lot. In fact, I'm picking up that possibly this is how they're healing themselves right now. Um, isolating from the world, listening to music, trying to figure out how they're going to bring forgiveness and harmony to the situation so wow taurus i don't know if you're looking for an ex but do expect them very very soon i feel like your ex might be the next <laughs> all right guys i hope that this has helped um please like share subscribe all of that awesome stuff lovers readings are still on special if you're interested you might have children with this person love and light bye